I'm going to bring in now Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who says he will sign a bill passed by his state. It will make it harder for cities to defund the police. And that could put him at odds with Democrat-run cities like Austin, Texas. Police there took 16 minutes to respond to a 911 call of a shooting Sunday morning. The president of the Austin Police Association tweeted that no units were available until 12 minutes after the call came in. Governor Abbott responding, this is what defunding the police looks like. Austin is incapable of timely responding to a victim shot in the head. Texas won't tolerate this. Sanity and safety will return. Governor Abbott joins me now. Governor, good to have you on the program. Those words that you spoke about sanity and safety returning, that's not just a promise for, from you. It sounds much stronger than that. Well, the, the reason it's stronger is because, as you pointed out, I'm about to sign a law uh, that will ensure that cities in the state of Texas uh, will not be able to defund police. First, the context, and that is that you pointed out what's going on in Minneapolis, where it is both a tragedy and a disaster, uh, what's going on for the residents of Minneapolis because of the defunding of police. And you've seen the same thing in Portland and Seattle and Chicago and New York, et cetera. Harris, unfortunately, we had the same thing happen here in the state of Texas, where the city of Austin defunded police, which is why you saw that uh, tragic situation uh, reported in Austin, Texas. And because Austin defunded police, we wanted to do two things in this session. One, we wanted to make sure that there were going to be consequences for the city of Austin. Uh, the second is we wanted to make sure that no other city in the state of Texas would defund police. And so here's what we're doing in the state of Texas to, sh to put teeth into this law that uh, provides real consequences for cities that do defund the police. One, we're going to dry up their revenue sources hmm. in a way that basically uh, will put the city out of business. Uh, what happens is a resident so should not be taxed. you're going to defund the city. We're going to defund the city. We are going to prohibit cities from being able to annex in the future, but mm -hmm. also allow people who have been annexed for 30 years to be able to de-annex because they were annexed and they were paying money into the city for the purpose of being able to receive police protection. And then the last thing I'll add to you, and that is uh, the state of Texas Department of Public Safety, they will provide additional policing uh, in the city of Austin. However, it's going to be the city of Austin sales tax revenue that will be paying for the state law enforcement to make sure that there will be safety and security in the city of Austin. It's so fascinating what you've done real quickly because, and I want to make sure I'm understanding it right, if, if they're going to move money, or as the Kansas City mayor explains it, as his crime's exploding too, he's going to reallocate funds. If they're going to move the cash, you're going to move the cash. I, I see that as, as what's happening here. I, I want to bring this in because now the White House is in it. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was pressed on the issue yesterday. Let's watch and I'll get your response, Governor. Is there a crime problem in this country? Well, I would say certainly there is a guns problem, uh, and that's something the president would say. And there are communities where uh, local violence and community violence is an issue. Governor Abbott, your response. So I, I missed part of it. She said there was a gun problem, but that's not what a she crime said. problem? Yes. Well, first, one thing they like to talk about is, is guns without recognizing that most of the gun crimes occur in inner city situations like in Chicago, which is the murder capital of the United States, it seems. Uh, but second, once again, is the Biden administration that said there was not a crisis on the border in the state of Texas. Now they're not st standing up and saying there's a crisis with regard to crime in our cities. There is a crisis with regard to crime, and they think that the solution to it is de-policing or reimagining policing, when in reality, the solution to this is doubling down, making sure that we do have more police officers, well-trained, well-equipped police officers, which the, the state of Texas is also doing. We're making sure they have better training, better equipment, so they will be exercising the best policing practices to keep our communities safe. Governor, a new analysis from The Economist suggests that when protests turned violent in, for example, Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the shooting of Jacob Blake, the former President Trump and Republicans benefited at the ballot box. The analysis noting that Joe Biden's vote share in Kenosha was, quote, conspicuous, conspicuously low. You may remember both Trump and Biden made separate stops in that city. What do you say to that? Well, as, listen, as, as common sense, as every politician knows, one of the most important issues at the ballot box in, in the public arena is safety. 
Uh, if, <laughs> if you fail as a politician to ensure safety in your communities, you will pay the price of the ballot box, and that's exactly what you saw in that one particular snippet. But that is replicated every single election. That is why Texas uh, is stepping up to make sure we as a state provide safety for our communities. But you will see consequences of the ballot box for the cities as well as communities and states uh, that do not step up and provide the safety that their residents deserve. You know, I am curious to know why some of these communities, and I've asked leaders, I want to get your opinion on this, and I'm going to ask my team to pop that, that list back up of how bad it's gotten. Portland, Oregon, a spike in violent crime homicides, 800%. Why do these leaders seem to think that they can be the exception of the rule by defunding? I, I got to tell you, Harris, it really is an ideological issue. If, if you look at all these, you, you could call it Democrat run, but candidly, it's not. It, it's socialistically run cities like in Portland, where they just wanted to turn the city over uh, to the, the residents for the residents to be in control of what's happening in the city with no mm. policing leadership whatsoever. You saw the same thing uh, with regard to that particular zone in, in Seattle and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, as well as what you've seen happen in New York City. And if, if you do not have police, Policing, you will have greater danger. You will have greater crime. It just makes sense, and that is exactly why Texas is stepping up to ensure that we're going to be providing policing in our communities as well as across the entire state. All eyes on Austin, Texas, and what this governor is trying to do in his home. Governor Abbott, thank you for joining me today.